What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Chris Jordan here and in this video I'm going to be showing you why using the off arm is one of the biggest keys when it comes to just handling the ball and scoring more often than not. And a lot of players focus on just the ball handling, they focus on the change of speeds, they focus on being shifty, they focus on the moves, but you have two arms and in this video I'm going to be showing you why the best point guards scoring guards or basically any guard that goes to the hole uses the off arm to score and dominate on the court so one of the best reasons for using the off arm in basketball is that it creates leverage for you and gives you an advantage and the reason it gives you an advantage is because when your defender is reaching in or they have one hand extended or one arm extended when you use your off arm to swipe past them you actually slightly pushing them back and you're basically sweeping right past them and it puts them out of position to get in front of you. I can't tell you how many times I've had defenders close up on me trying not to give me any type of space but as soon as I swipe their arm off of me and go straight to the hole they can't even defend and they're behind me at that point. So that's one of the first benefits of using your off arm to simply get by defenders. Simply by using your off arm to move the defender's hand out the way or arm out the way and pushing them backwards is why it's so effective so use it before you get locked up by defenders or aggressive def so use it before you get locked up by aggressive defenders on the court if an aggressive defender is on your hip or straight up on you use your off arm to swipe by them and get straight to the goal you can literally use one move and get by defenders who are super aggressive i also want to emphasize that using your off arm to gain an advantage over the defense is not a foul the only time using your off arm against the defense is a foul is if you're obviously pushing off or extending your arm but you can use your off arm to gain an advantage at basically any time when you're in the game or on the court so if your defender reaches you should be you should feel happy that he's actually reaching because you can literally just swipe his arm down and go right past them majority of the time also, you're already doing this when you're accelerating on the court. You naturally swipe your arm past you to accelerate faster. So using this technique with just simply accelerating can get you by most defenders. So what happens when you can't get by defenders completely and they're on, the, on your hip? Now the second reason to use your off arm in basketball is to control the space. So for example, if you're about to drive to the goal, and you can't completely get around your defender, you can actually use your off arm, to, off arm to control the space around you and actually just hold them off until you get to the goal. You'll see Kyrie Irving does this all the time when he's going to the hole and he can't completely get by his defender. Now, when you're going to the goal and you have someone on your hip and you're controlling your space with your off arm, you can, once you get to the goal and you're going for the layup, you can slightly push off and create enough space just for you to lay the ball up. Now, once again, you want to make sure you don't actually extend your arm and push all the way off. Otherwise, it's going to be an offensive foul because you're pushing off and extending your arm. So make sure you don't extend all the way. Just slightly give a push and go for the layup. Another great time to use your off arm in basketball is going around screens and picks. Simply because you can control, use your off arm to control and determine where your defender is on the court. So, for example, if you come off a screen and your defender's still on your hip, you can have your off arm there just to see where he is while you're surveying the floor at the same time. You'll see James Harden do this a lot. He'll come around the screen super slow, like super duper slow, but he's using his off arm to feel where his defender is and how much space he actually has. And he's also surveying the floor, looking for the roller or the pop, uh, pop by the screener or the slip, things of that nature. So those are some reasons to use your off arm and keep an active off arm while you're on the court that's it for the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel it would mean a ton and i finally hit 100 subscribers so i appreciate all the subscribers on the channel i actually gotta do a video about that so that's coming very soon but that's it for the video see you guys in the next one peace